Hello YouTube. It's been a while. Some of you may not recognize me since it's been that long since I've been on a video. But this is Coffee with the Masons. It's been a while since we posted a video. We weren't sure which direction we were going to go with it. So I took a little time off. My wife posted a couple of short videos here and there. And uh, we're going to get back into it and resurrect this channel. And see what we can do with it. And today... Let me show you a little bit of some of the work I've done on the property. You can see I've got some stuff cleared out. I've got a little mud puddle over here where I'm digging up a stump. And over here, there was a stump there at one time. I dug it up. And it is now over here. And I'm also in the process of digging up a second stump. Over here in the corner of my backyard. There you can see the fence. I got a whole lot of work going on. And I uh, kind of wanted to show you what I'm doing here. Because I got to show you guys a new toy I got. <clears throat> and I'm not a farmer by any means of the word. By definition, I still go to work every day. But feast your eyes on this little vision of beauty this is the Branson 2505H it is a compact tractor I've had it now for about a month and a half two months maybe well, about a month and a half it's a compact tractor go ahead and show you the 2505H from Branson it's a beautiful tractor you can see red and black Got a little mud on the tires from where I've been playing in the mud, doing some of the work over there. I got the backhoe attachment for it, and that thing works great. You never, you never ever know that you need a tractor until you get one. Then you try and figure out how you survived all those years without it. I'll be 50 years old in 10 days and wonder how I made it 49 years. 355 days without one wasn't easy now another attachment I got for it over here is a five foot Titan bush hog oh this has made my life so much easier you can see right there it says Titan on the side of it also red and black matches the colors of the tractor me being a Georgia fan it's a lot easier for me to uh, fall in love with something that looks this way and then performs when you get it <clears throat> now, this particular tractor, it has a lot of other implements too. I think the next one I'm planning on buying is the box blade. Listen to this. Oh, I guess I got to have a key in it, which is fairly convenient that I have a key in my pocket. It's got a uh, 27 horsepower and it being a compact tractor with only 27 horsepower. You can see it doesn't have a speedometer, just a RPM gauge. Fire it up for you here in a second. But 27 horsepower means that it does not have to go through any emissions, no, no regulations, no governing, no nothing. Which is something I happen to enjoy. Listen to this baby. Listen to this baby right here. And that's every time. You turn the key, and that's what happens. Give you the tour around it real quick. We'll go ahead and hop up on the seat. Let it warm up a little bit. You can see down here, this is my brake right here. This is my uh, cruise control. Yeah, this baby's got a cruise control. Back to the rest of it. Here's my PTO over here. The yellow knob. This is my throttle here. It's got headlights. If you want to work at night. It's got a blinker. Turn signal. And listen to this. Baby's got a horn on it. 
swing around here to the back. I have just been been thrilled with all the amount of work I've been able to get done with it. Um, I just, like I said, I don't know how I survived all these years without a tractor. And uh, I'm going to give you a little ride around the property with it real quick and uh, just show you some of the things I've been doing with it. So hang on, let's go for a ride. Another thing I like about it is the, uh, show you down here. It's a hydrostatic transmission, just like my lawnmower. So, the focus over here to the left, I've been thinning out that a little bit, but that's not where I've been doing most of the work. And you can see back there, a nice little spot cleared out. I'm working my way down that fence line. See right here, I'm uh, expanding the goose pasture. Give them a little bit more green to eat on. You know, winter's coming. Food's expensive, so gotta help them out a little bit. Give them some more food to eat as much as I can. see you can imagine when everything's green and some of the leaves are falling how thick all that looks so I started with the bush hog I can't I don't know if you can tell how it's thinned out back there but uh, you can certainly see it right here where I've been clearing as I go and uh, Go ahead and give you guys a little uh, show of what it can do. I mean, this is just without the bush hog. This is just me in the front bucket right here. behind me you can see the little trail that I've just made let's go check out some of the other work I've already done back here on the back side all of this was grown up just like the rest of my property See how cleared, how, how open I have it over here. And uh, there was a little, uh, little bit of playing I did with the backhoe right over there. Now a month ago, I would have had to have had a bulldozer to get around my property. And just like I said, I've got but 24.3 hours is how many hours I put on this. It's got four wheel drive, I can, two wheel drive, I can go to four wheel low if I need to. I've also got a button down here I'll show you. That little, that little lever there, if I push it while I'm driving, it gives me positive traction where all four of my wheels are spinning at one time. There's my house over there. A month ago, if I tried to sit right here on this tractor, you wouldn't have seen anything but trees. Like I said, I've made a, a road all the way around my property. I'm discovering that I actually have acreage. tree falls 
since I started cutting the yard uh, or clearing the land right behind my backyard fence. So it won't take me but a minute to get that out of the way. Back. Let's go ahead and try that now. survived all those years without a tractor. I guess all, I'd say that that log there is probably at least nine feet long, maybe 10. You saw how easy I picked it up with the front bucket of this. That was just with the front bucket. the engine down so you all can hear me there's my puppies over there they love me love that I'm trying to give them more yard to play in but you can see the clearing I did all of this with the bush hog in about eh, probably about 30 minutes so if you're thinking about buying a tractor or know someone's thinking about buying a tractor I do recommend the Branson brand and a compact tractor is the way to go if you don't have a lot of acreage. I mean, I'm not cold a corn star or anything, but uh, if, you're, if you're in Georgia, I, I recommend traveling to Chatsworth and giving these guys here a call because they know their stuff when it comes to tractors. So, hope you enjoyed my review of the uh, Branson tractor, showing you a little bit of work of what I'm doing to my property here. Um, I'm gonna start making some videos as I am working on my property and give you all a little taste of what we got going on here in North Georgia. So if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, you can give me a thumbs down, share, subscribe, or don't share, don't subscribe. Just uh, have a great day and be safe out there.